So I wanted to give you guys a, a quick rundown of the Pixel Perfect app, what it does, and why it is different than uh, other Pixel apps out there, particularly as Shopify now do their own. Um, and I wanted to give you a head up on, on what the differentiators were with the app. So the first thing is we're going to install the app. So I'm going to do this on a, a test Shopify store. So I'm going to go ahead and install the app. Hopefully you'll see this is a, a two-minute job to get yourself up and running on uh, on Facebook with advertising. So that's the first thing. There is our app we now have installed. Um, and we can go over to the dashboard and you can see a few things. So we have the option to turn the pixel off or turn it on. Um, pixel Perfect is, at the moment, it does pixels and feed, it's going to do a whole lot more than that, and I'll show you some of the stage twos in a minute. Uh, but we have the ability to turn the pixel off or on, we enter the ID, we have the ability to include the product information with the pixel or not, so if you're not doing catalog retargeting, you just want to record the basic events, you can turn that off, um, and the pixel won't give you errors about uh, the fact that it's not matching things up with the product catalog. Um, we have the ability to support Ajax carts, so if you've got an Ajax shopping cart, you can hit the checkbox and save, and we support Ajax. Um, things like bold upsell uh, can break your pixels. In fact, they do break your pixels with regular monotony, and you've got the ability to uh, click that, and we support things like that as well. So um, where you've got other apps that break the pixel, we can work around that. Uh, the Google Shopping category you can set right the way across your store. So if you use the Shopify um, app for Google Shopping, we respect that and we will send over those values as a default. But if you have any other products that, that don't have a category set or you, you don't want to go that whole route, you just want the, the category setting in Facebook, uh, we have the ability to just set the category here and uh, hit the Save button and then that will apply it to your feed and to your Facebook catalogue. We also have the option to set lowercase title and description, so Facebook can error because there are stores out there that just have all uppercase titles and descriptions, so the feed into Facebook will error and break if that's the case, so we've got the ability to set them as lowercase. So I'm going to go back to the store and have a quick look at um, what we've installed, uh, and we've given you the ability to have the feed in the store as a template. Now the reason for that is you can change it. So if you want to go ahead and change settings here, change the number of products it sends over, change the image size, change the number of variants, um, include variants or not, you want to change the collection that the um, feed sends over. For example, some people have special collections, they only want to send that collection over. You can set all that right here and edit it within the feed. So um, you can get at the feed, you can change it, you can hack it around and you can make it whatever whatever you need for your particular store. So that's, that's kind of where we're at today. Uh, where we're going to be at in the next few days is a further stage. So coming over to here, you'll see we're going to have a connect with Facebook um, button. So we're going to connect over to Facebook. One of the problems that people have got is, is the catalogue and the feed and the whole nine yards of that. So We've now got the ability, now we're connected to our Facebook Business Manager, to select a catalogue. Or if we don't have one, it's a new install, we're just going to go ahead and create a catalogue. So I'm going to create a catalogue called uh, Test. It's a little slow at the moment because we're on a demo server. I'm going to select that catalogue. So we've now created a catalogue in Facebook from the Pixel Perfect app. New product feed for Test 2. What's the feed URL? So I'm going to go back over to Pixel Perfect and I'm going to select the feed URL that we have, put that in here. That will that will upload your feed on a schedule, but because this is the first time I've done it, I don't actually have the feed in place. So I'm going to upload the products to the feed and hit the Create button. Then if I go over to uh, Facebook Business Manager, we should see down here that we now have a catalog called uh, Test. And there's our feed uploading into test. So it's uploading the feed into our catalog. So that, that's a one-stop shop of how to get your um, feed 
your catalog and everything you need in place for dynamic product ads. You can then go back over to the Pixel Perfect dashboard and check the box to include product information with the Pixel and that will then marry up with your feed and it will marry up with your catalog in Facebook. Done. Uh, now we want to create some custom audiences so I've got the ability to select my, select my ad account here. Um, create an audience so this is Pixel Perfect people have purchased in the last 14 days and we're going to have a whole load of audiences that are just on a checkbox so you can select some default audiences and create them. Uh, hit that button, it's probably going to tell me that, oh it's going to tell me the audience already exists, that's cool. So we're going to add very quickly in the next week or so the ability to create quick audiences um, and we're going to have the ability to create those audiences on a collection so you can just click on people that have looked at a particular collection on an event, so add to cart, purchase, things like that, you can create audiences on an event, and possibly on, on a tag, so, so we're considering whether or not to tag products in Shopify and create an audience on that. Uh, custom conversions, we're also going to be able to do that, so you can tag um, products in Shopify, click the create custom conversion, and it will create a custom conversion based on the products that you've tagged. So I think that they're kind of described as niche pixels by some people, but that's that's the way that we're going to do it. We're also going to have the ability to create basic dynamic product ads, and that could be a retarget ad or um, you know some basic DPAs, and they'll just be a click button. You check the box, you know, give me a retarget ad, click on save, um, and that is going to do that. We're also going to be able to create custom product sets in your Facebook catalog based on tags so for example if you're a pet shop and you sell cat stuff or your pet shop and you sell dog stuff you are going to be able to segment out your catalog by creating a tag on all your cat stuff and then hitting the button or creating a tag on the dog stuff and hitting the button uh, and that will segment out your, uh, your catalog in Facebook so we're going to have the ability from Shopify within a single panel to create the catalog segment the catalogue out into the particular niche of product that you want, you know, cat stuff or dog stuff, the ability to segment your audience out into people who've looked at the cat stuff and looked at the dog stuff, and the ability to create a custom conversion, so that's people who, you know, it's, it's an optimised purchase event for people who have purchased cat stuff or dog stuff. So we're going to be able to drill right the way down, that's where we're going, and in the next week or so you'll be able to um, see another little tab here, which is Facebook settings, um, and we're going to be able to do all of that as well. We're also going to add support for ad roll as well. So if you've got ad roll pixel, you just, there'll be a tab for ad roll. Just put your ad roll ID in here, um, and you're good to go. So for most stores, that is going to be the, the real simplicity of it, start to finish, of um, getting up and running with a catalog and doing DPAs and retargets and all the other stuff on it within Facebook in a matter of minutes.